You want to know about the reaction between sodium and fluorine. Well, I got you. Sodium is a metal, and I know that because there's a little staircase on the periodic table here, and everything to the left of it except for hydrogen is a metal. Fluorine is on the right-hand side of that staircase. That means it is a non-metal. When metals and non-metals react together, they form ionic compounds, and this is a synthesis reaction where the metal gives away electrons to the non-metal. Here we have the sodium metal and the elemental fluorine. The sodium gives away an electron to become positive one charged. Each fluorine atom gains one electron to become minus one charged. And if you wanted to know where I got those numbers, they're the preferred charges on sodium and fluorine based on the column that they're in. So you're going to end up crisscrossing those charges. You end up with NaF, that is sodium fluoride, which is a solid at room temperature. There are no side reactions or anything like that here. When these two react, you get only pure sodium fluoride. This isn't how sodium fluoride is made in industry, but you didn't come here for that information. Now to balance this, we have two fluorines on the left side of the arrow. We need two fluorines on the right side of the arrow. I put a two as a coefficient because I can't change the subscript. Now I have two sodiums on the right, so I need two sodiums on the left, and I am done. Welcome to a classic synthesis reaction where two things react to become a single thing. Best of luck.